Hi. The name of this story is Why the Sea is Salty. Salty. Why the sea is salty. Why? Why? The sea the sea is um, oh I don't have blue I don't have blue uh, the water a lot of water this is the sea why the sea is salty and salty is the salty salty is the opposite of sweet sweet like a sweet mm. sweet something mm, that we like salty is the opposite the salt that we can something that has uh, salt in it okay okay why the water in the sea why is it salty okay many 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 years ago once upon a time once upon a time many many years ago there were two brothers two men one brother and two brothers. They were brothers. Brothers. Okay? And one of the brothers was very rich. He had a lot of money. He was rich. This one was rich. Had a lot of money. He was a merchant. He uh, traveled from one country to another. Um, no, uh, this is the um, Europe, Africa, okay, and Greece, Turkey. So he, this brother, had ships. Is a ship and he traveled traveled he used to travel he traveled from Spain to Italy from Italy to Greece Greece Turkey okay he, he traveled through the sea from one country to another he traveled He traveled with the ships from one country to another to sell to sell uh, salt, salt. Okay, salt. So he paid money and he got salt, and then he, for example, from from Barcelona, he traveled to Turkey. He gave money, he gets piles of salt, then he traveled back to um, Barcelona and he sell, uh, he sell the, the salt for money, okay? So he, his job was to buy and sell salt, okay? And he had a lot of money. The other brother was very poor. Poor. He had no money. No money. He was poor. Um, he was very, very poor. He lived. He lived with his wife. And he had two children. 
He had two children. His wife and two children. But they lived in a house, but they were very, very poor. And they were hungry. They starved. To starve is when you are very, 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 very hungry. You haven't eaten anything and you are very, very hungry. You starve. You are dying of hunger. Okay? You are almost dying. Not dead, but almost. Almost. Okay? Starving. <coughs> So they were starving. Uh, the wife and the children and the man, they were very poor and they were starving. They were, they were very, very hungry. One day, the man walked to his brother's big house. He had a very, a very big house. A big house. Because he was a rich man he was a rich man he was had a lot of money so he had a very big house big house and the poor brother walked to the rich brother and he said please brother i'm starving my family my wife i'm and my children they are starving Please, give me something to eat. Something. Something. Something to eat. Please, something. Bread or meat or something to eat. The rich brother said, no. I have a lot of money. Because I travel from one country to another, it's a hard job to travel with ships in the water, always, always. So yes, I have a lot of money, but the money is mine. He was very selfish. Selfish. The rich brother was selfish. So, the money is mine. The poor, the poor brother was sad. And he walked back home. But he was very depressed. And he was crying. He was crying. What can I do? My family is starving. Uh, my children, my wife, they will die because no food, you die. So he was very sad walking through the forest. There was a forest, of course. There was a forest from one house to the other house. So the, there, was, there was a forest and the man was walking very slowly was walking slowly he was very sad he was crying he was desperate desperate he was desperate suddenly the poor brother crossed crossed an old man an old, he was walking that's the poor brother he was very he was crying. He was. He was very sad. He was walking very slowly, desperate. And he crossed a man, an old man with a long beard. He was walking with. An old man. And the man 
asked, asked the poor brother, what happened? Why are you crying? Why? The man, the poor brother, said, I'm crying because I'm starving. All my family, my wife and my children, they are starving. We, we are starving. We have no food. We have nothing to eat. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing to eat. And my brother is rich, has a lot of money, but he doesn't want to give me uh, food. So I'm very sad and I'm, I'm desperate, I'm starving. The old man said, I can help you, I can help, I can help. I can help. Uh, and the man gave, gave a piece of sweet, sweet bread. A, a bread, a bread, but a sweet bread. Sweet. Sweet bread. And the man the poor brother said, oh, I can eat this. But the old man said, no, no, no. You don't eat the sweet bread. No, no. You keep the sweet bread and you walk to the end of the road. You walk, you walk for mm, one hour. One hour. You walk for one hour and there is a hill. There is a hill, like a little mountain, a hill. On top of the hill, there is one big tree, one big tree, and in front of the tree, behind? No, in front of the tree, there is a small house a small house you go inside the house you go inside the house and you will see <coughs> you will see a dwarf dwarf is a very short person a very short uh, person, a dwarf. And you will see the dwarf, and the dwarf will, will, uh, and you will, the dwarf loves, loves sweetbread. The dwarf will do anything, anything to get the sweet bread. The dwarf wants the dwarf with long birds, long hair, the dwarf loves the sweet bread and he will pay a lot of money for the sweet bread. The dwarf will say, oh, I give you gold, gold, gold uh, for the bread. But you say no. You just take a grinder, a grinder, a stone, stone grinder. Stone grinder is a piece of stone with two wheels and you, it's used to uh, turn 
wheat into flour. A grinder is like uh, you put the wheat the wheat and it smashes the wheat and it turns the wheat into flour. Okay? Grinder is like <coughs> Okay, you put the wheat and you you move the stones and it's flour. You get flour. Um, so you exchange the bread for a stone grinder. Okay. The man said, "Okay." He kept the sweet bread in his pocket and he walked one hour. He walked and finally he saw the hill. He climbed the hill and the man saw the big tree and the little house in front of the tree. And he knocked on the door, he opened the door and he saw the dwarf. And the dwarf was angry. Oh, who are you? Get out, get out. But the man showed the sweet bread. And the dwarf, like, oh, sweet bread, I love sweet bread. Please give me the sweet bread. I will pay you, I will give money. Anything you want. Uh, I will give you anything you want. Gold, uh, money, whatever you want. The man said, no, no gold. Gold, no gold. Uh, money, no, no money. I want the stone grinder. The dwarf said, okay, okay, it's yours. And the man gave the sweet bread to the dwarf and he got the stone grinder and he walked to, um, to his house. He put the grinder on the table and he, he was not... What, is this magic? Uh, what's this for? I don't have wheat. Um, wheat is a... Um, I don't have wheat. So what do I put? So he started to turn the grinder thinking, oh, I love to have bread. I love to have bread. And suddenly, so that's the the, the grinder and the man was was turning the grinder was was turning the grinder and he thought oh, I love to have bread and suddenly <laughs> Some bread appeared from the grinder. Not one bread, many bread. One, two, three, four. And the man said, Oh, thank you, dear grinder. And the grinder stopped creating bread. Then the man said, Oh, this is a magic grinder. The man thought, oh, I'd love to, to have uh, milk, milk, okay, from the cows, moo, milk, okay, is uh, liquid milk, milk, so 
he thought I'd love to have milk and he turned the grinder and suddenly a lot of milk appeared. A big bowl full of milk. And he said, thank you, dear grinder. And the grinder stopped. The man was happy. He saw that when he thought, um, I'd love to have a, a hamburger. And he thought, I'd love to have a hamburger. Wow, a lot of hamburgers appeared. I'd love to have uh, salt. And I'd love to have salt. And a lot of salt appeared. All he imagined appeared. So they had a lot of food. And the children and the wife ate a lot. They were not poor anymore. They had a lot of food and they were happy. They were not starving. They were not hungry. They were good. Sometime later, two months later, two months, two months later, the rich brother walked to the poor brother house and he saw that his brother was not poor anymore. He had a lot of food, he had money, he was rich now. <clears throat> and he thought, oh, that's not possible. Two months ago, my brother was starving. He was dying, <laughs> no food. Now he has food, he's not hungry, he has money. So what's that? The rich brother spied. Hmm. Spied. I don't have space. Spied on his brother. So he hides behind a tree. A tree. He hides. He hide behind the tree and he spied on his brother. And the rich brother saw that the poor brother that now <laughs> is rich was using the grinder. And the grinder was magic. So the rich brother thought, hmm, I have to steal, steal. I have to steal the grinder. So at night, when it was dark at night, at night, the rich brother walked into his brother's house and took the grinder and ran away. <laughs> ran away to his house. He was very uh, um, excited. So he, he took his ship, he, so he lived near the ship, that's the sea, and he had a ship. So he escaped with the grinder, he ran away, and he jumped into the ship, and he sailed in the sea. And he thought, mm, if the grinder makes a lot of salt, I don't have to travel one country, another country, for Italy, Spain, Turkey, um, Greece, Spain, Turkey, Greece. I don't have to travel. So I can be in my house, relaxed, and... Uh, in the sofa, watching TV. So I don't have to work because I will have a lot of salt and I can sell the salt, but not traveling with my ships. He was old. He was tired of traveling from 
one country to another. And so the brother started to think, oh, I want salt, a lot of salt. And he started to use the grinder. I want a lot of salt. And the grinder, the magic grinder, started to create salt, a lot of salt. So his sheep, so what, that's the man with the grinder, and started to create salt, salt, a little bit of salt. But and he wanted more. I want a lot of salt, a lot of salt. Suddenly, the sheep was full, full of salt. And the man was happy and said, OK, grinder, stop, stop. But those were not the magic words. And the grinder continued to produce salt, a lot of salt, a lot of salt. The, the man got scared and said, no, no, uh, grinder, stop, uh, don't produce salt, quit, stop. But the grinder kept, continued to produce salt and 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 finally it was so heavy that the sheep groaned, went down in the sea, the sheep went down and the grinder fell into the sea, in the water into the sea. But the grinder kept creating, producing salt and salt and salt and salt and salt. And the grinder never, never stopped creating salt. And that's why, that's why the sea is salty. And that's the end of the story.